What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ellie Delp. This is Sparky. Back again like I never left. Today we are going to be doing another comparison video. This time it is on a $1,500 scope versus a $150 scope. Before we do, let's talk about the disclaimers because those are important. First thing, basement operator, super important. Go check us out at basementoperator.com. There you can find builds. Uh, links to all the stuff we do. Stickers. Stickers, and then merch, most importantly. Awesome merch right here. Next thing's next. Biggest supporter of the channel, Velocity Ammo. Uh, they keep the freedom, golly, I always pull the, the one out that's an empty one. Here, the one, they keep the freedom seeds flowing here on the channel, so big shout out to them. They're at basementoperator.com too, at our links. You can go to their link there. Next thing's next, again, Monstrum did send these optics out for the comparison. Um, they liked what we did with the original comparison video and they were like, would doing you it. would you be interested in doing another one? When they sent that out, I was a little hesitant because of how the whole thing would be like, don't shield Monstrum. And they were, they said that. They, they understood that the optic that we were sending out it's is, not a fair comparison. Is is not a fair comparison. Just like when we compared the seven thousand dollar rifle to the seven hundred dollar rifle, mm -hmm. it's not really a fair comparison. The goal of this is to figure out whether or not the value is there in the money. Which you know, fits your scenario, and if you need to fall somewhere in between. Exactly, and and that's what we're here to prove. So the first optic we have here is the Monster Tactical Banshee One Two Eight. I actually have a code for a Banshee right now. I think it's Elliot Banshee Twenty Three, maybe. I think it's twenty five percent off. This one's about one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollar optic. And then the next thing, Sparky, you set it down right before I talked about it, is the EOTech Voodoo One Two Eight. This is a fourteen to fifteen hundred dollar optic, and is you know like up there in terms of. Yeah the whole optics got, got realm everybody knows about the voodoo uh, tons of people use the lpvo um i wouldn't say it's up there with like night force it's not that high in the world but i mean it's a quality optic upper mid upper mid to say the very least when you're spending 14 1500 on an optic you want something that is working yes that is beautiful that is crisp that you can depend on is count uh, like you know the full shebang so let's start by talking about the specs of the banshee go over those real quickly this is a one to eight lpvo this is a second focal plane so what that means is the reticle doesn't grow as you the magnify. optic is magnified now this one has a very big reticle in it. Oh, Sparky, do you remember the yes. reticle? It's the box. Yeah, it's got the box, yeah. So it takes up a lot of the, you know, field of view in there. It has, you know, run-of-the-mill turrets, and it comes out of the box with a mount, and it has... Illuminated reticle. Yeah. Red or green. Uh, red or green, which is a nifty little feature. The EOTech Voodoo is a 1 to 8 second focal plane as well, 30, 30 millimeter mm -hmm. tube, just like the Monstrum is. Does not come with the mount. Does not come with the mount. We have an arrow mount on them. I like arrow a lot for their mounts. They're really nice and they've worked really, really well. Never had an issue with any of them. They're really high quality. I mean, you pay for it too. It's like a hundred dollar oh, mount. Yeah. So it's got the throw lever integrated, whereas this one has kind of just a throw lever, lever bump, but you can also take the throw lever, lever, leh, lever. Leh, 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 off. And it's kind of got the bump just like the uh, Monstrum does. And this one, cap deterrence as well. Second focal plane optic. Eliminated reticle. Yeah, eliminated reticle. Crisp. Little turn. It has a very nice, just normal. It's very clean. What's that? What's just, the reticle's name, Sparky? It's, I feel like it's in a ton of old scopes. It's just like like just a regular like. Yeah, we'll this has BDC name. in it. So just normal BDC. Yeah, it's got some. It's real. You never see that stuff anymore. No, not really. And when you illuminate it, it has one little dot. It's Inside very similar to a uh, like a red dot, I would say. Yeah, it's just it's just a basic red dot as you'd see in a red dot optic in the Serenity crosshairs. Yeah. So let's compare and contrast in terms of actual on paper features. I would say they're pretty much the same. Like if they got the same features. Yeah, the EOTech weighs a little bit more. Um, I think it's like 20 ounces where this is 18 ounces. They're pretty much the exact same length. On paper, they're pretty much the same, the same optic in, instead of cost. So where does that money go? Essentially, all that money for EOTech is poured into their glass. Mm -hmm. And 
EOTech has super, super high quality glass. First it thing Sparky crisp. said when he, he looked through the dang thing, he was like, holy least, crap. And comparing them side by side, I was like, yeah, this one's much more crisp. Yeah. The, and, and a radical slope. And, and that's what you get really. That's across the board in like yeah. all optics. So in, no, matter, no matter if it's a Mostrum, Vortex, whatever, like all, as soon as you get into higher level optics, the glass is where the money's at. And, and it's very comparable. Like, yes. like you can tell it when you're looking through it that the EOTech is just crystal clear and it's just, you know. It, you can tell the difference. It's beautiful. Now with the Monstrum, that being said, you know, we have, we have had the Banshee on the channel for quite some time. And it's just, I don't know if it's just, it's just not as clear. Well, clear. It doesn't let as much light in. Mm -hmm. um, That's it, true. This one does let in a lot more light. Yeah. And I don't know exactly the full function of how optics work. Um, I know the glass clarity and then also the coatings that are applied mm -hmm. to the lenses affect how much light is able to be transferred between. And I'm no engineer. And I we, you were an engineer. well, I am an engineer, but I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a scope engineer, so I, I can't speak to the exact specifics of the manufacturing process of an optic. Of an optic, but I can tell you which one's clear and which one's not clear. And the EOTech is clear. So why would you buy the EOTech? So I think the EOTech definitely serves a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's it's a fantastic optic. That's not the first voodoo I've seen through at, at the gathering. We actually missed one. We looked through a bunch of EOTechs at, yeah. <laughs> at, the, at the gathering, but I would have a purpose for the voodoo. If I am like law enforcement, if I am, mm -hmm. you know, looking for a heavy use optic. Something you're gonna use every day. Every day, or like you do a lot of competition shooting and you're doing two gun matches and you're doing stuff like that where you need to have a very dependable optic that you can beat the living crap out you of. You put a lot of stress on, it's gonna work every time. Yeah, and you know, you need to have the crisper, you know, better. Better reticle. Better reticle. Um, and you're putting it through a lot of use mm -hmm. is where I think the EOTech shines and justifies the 10X price tag. You know, I, I definitely think there's a market for it. There's a reason for it and there's a use case for it. I personally don't think your average consumer. So what's the market for this one? Before you get into that, what's the market on this one? Yeah, so fair. The market on this one is a little bit tamer. So I would say a Monstrum is very good for somebody that is just getting into the AR-15 world. They are not using it every single day. Every single day. Maybe they take, go shooting once or twice a month. Uh, they take it out to the range, they run a few drills with it. They're not being super hard on it. They're not shooting seven, 800 rounds a weekend, a weekend at a tactical course mm -hmm. because they are training people. Uh, they're not, you know, taking it every single weekend to go shoot two gun matches where they're throwing guns in barrels and, you know, just beating, them up. beating the living snot out of them. So this is more your everyday Joe. Yeah. So more like catered for that, that's going to side in and put, stick it in the closet. Yeah. And then shoot it every now and then. So I know people, ironically, talking about work, that I work with, they have Monstrum LPVOs. They put them on their hunting guns that they shoot, you know, five times a year. They love and they, them. And they work great. Because what they do is they zero them in. They hold zero. Mm -hmm. Hunter and I have done crazy tracking tests on them, didn't we, Hunter? So, I mean, they track well. They work. They put them on an AR that they hunt with. They take them into the woods. They use them for what they're intended to be used for and they're they don't not, have they're any, not super hard on them and they're not they don't abuse the living snot out of them they're not dumping them in water freezing them you know sticking them in mud and just absolutely yeah tearing them up they're treating them like most people treat their rifles you know yeah. and they work and, and they work and they work good and they're clear enough and useful enough that your everyday joe that your everyday joe is not going to notice and if you're not super into it you wouldn't know any better you wouldn't know any better if you're not looking through hundreds of lp i actually i haven't looked through 100 lpvs i've probably looked through like 30 or 40 lpvs but and, and that's more that's a lot more that's than everybody else. a lot more than everybody else has looked through and I, you you can't tell the difference unless you're looking through a ton of them and side by side and side by side 
Because I mean, if you just look through this and you're just like in the store and you just pick it up off the shelf because it's on a display or something, you look through it, it looks clear. Yeah, it looks, you like, know? It looks how it's supposed to. It, it looks how it's supposed to, but then you walk down the aisle and get look at an EOTech and it, you're it, like, Whoa. it is obviously clear. Like no one's disputing that. But the use case could use- This is catered for the, uh, vast, the vast majority. majority. This one is, uh, this one is tailored for the minority. So like what people spend on an EOTech Voodoo- Covers the whole cost of the gun. Yeah, covers the whole cost of this gun, yeah, actually. That was my main point when we was brainstorming about this video is that your everyday Joe doesn't need the EOTech because if wallet in mind, you can get this EOTech covers the whole cost of the gun. Like, yeah. And you, and you have money left over to buy ammo. Exactly. So like this whole setup right here, this is a more expensive setup in general. It's $1,100 rifle with a $1,400 optic on it. And you know, whereas this one's like a $700 rifle with a $150 optic on it. And I'm also the first guy to say, oh, you know, don't skimp out on your optic because that, you know, because it just, yeah, you shouldn't in my opinion. But but, but if budgets, budgets in mind and most people shop that way. Yeah, you know? which I initially start now, that's the way we shopped. Exactly. Now. Like three hundred dollar PSA and a hundred ish dollar optic, and there you go. And it it worked for the longest and time. And that's probably the majority of AR owners. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, the vast majority of people are buying you know your PSA rifles because PSA makes a rifle that works. Mm -hmm. You know, it's and and they're looking for an affordable optic, and they can't spend the fifteen hundred. Now they look at it and they're like, Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But they can't spend it, and it's it's not practical for a lot of people because a lot of people are trying to pay a mortgage or whatever, <laughs> or whatever Student instead of everything. instead of trying to buy a fifteen hundred dollar uh, EOTech. Now, don't get me wrong, we we love the EOTech and we like the Monstrum too. This is just catered for the majority of people, and it, this is more practical for a lot of people. Um, I here me now. Let me ask you this: Personally, do you think it's a ten x value on the EOTech? Mm. Like I don't know if like how how much do you think you're actually paying for EOTech name? Oh, a good portion of it. You think so? I, I mean, I would I would never buy an EOTech just because I don't want to spend the money. Yeah. Who, who's smarter, the guy that spends all the money on his gun but can't afford to shoot it, or a guy that buys something within his means and can't afford to shoot it? Psh, just be rich or smart. Who, who, who's who's the smart one? True. But like, I I me personally, I'd probably get something in between the two. Yeah, smack dab in the middle. Yeah, or or a little bit on lower end, or you know, get you a Vortex, yeah. LPV like I got of mine, and you can still afford to shoot it. You're still getting good quality stuff. Yeah. So it, I would probably fall somewhere in the middle. But, but, but do you think it's- I don't 10, think it's worth, I don't think it's worth 10 times. So you don't think there's 10 times the value on- I don't, I mean, I mean unless you want to torture test both of them, and oh. then you, but then, then you, but you, they both have a lifetime warranty. Yeah, so, so th they, you're diving back into the thing, like if you break the monster, like if you're worried about buying a cheap optic because you're afraid it's not gonna work, if you use it and you find like- A flaw. A flaw in it. Most people break. aren't using this as like- It's not who it's catered for. It's not who it's catered for. Most people aren't using this as a war time LPBO, mm -hmm. you know? So if you find a flaw in the optic, you can send it back. Yeah, and, you get a new one. And you'll get a new one and you'll get a one that's Either they'll repair it, or if they find out you can't repair it, they'll give you a new one. They'll give you a new one. Same thing with that one. You know, standard. Standard. Everything has manufacturing. I mean, the dang PSA that I just uh, had eleven hundred dollar, eleven hundred dollar. You think mass produced kind of issues? Yeah. And, but yes, this is not catered for who this is catered for. Yeah, and personally, I don't think it's ten x the value. I mean, th don't get me wrong. The glass clarity is beautiful. Oh, it's amazing on the EOTech, but. Like like I said, I like I, like you said, I don't think it's I don't think it's there. Not when you can afford when not when you can get a whole gun. Yeah. Like for the money for the money of the optic, which wallet in mind, I think get you know some, go this route. Yeah. Uh, cheaper. And next said you don't even have to go this one. You can, you're, there's other companies and that make affordable. that are a little bit more than this that you have some of the nicer you have you have some of the nicer qualities that EOTech has. For a little bit more money than this and most of the qualities that we I mean, talk glass. about are like you know a better paint job or glass glass or just how how the throw feels or how the objective feels when you're rotating it um and, and that's that's some of the stuff you don't see on the spec sheet that you do see like actually having the uh firearm 
or the optic itself. So I think we're gonna wrap it there. Uh, big thank you to Monstrum for sending these out so we could do the comparison on them. We wouldn't have been able to get a hold of an EOTech without, without that. And then also, you know, big thank you to Velocity Ammo for the uh, ammunition. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.